Ghana regularly experiences outbreaks of diseases such as cholera, meningitis, and most recently the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Epidemics lead to morbidity and mortality, affects the livelihoods of individuals and households, collapse business, and stall the growth of the economy. It has ravaged several economies and uh, most of it is because we were ill-prepared, especially in the developing parts of the world, in Africa especially. Epidemic outbreak does not inform any country when they are okay. It is important that we strengthen our health systems to be able to respond if they do happen. The infrastructure in Ghana to respond to epidemic was extremely minimal. So that is why I think Ghana decided to seek financial support to be able to advocate. The impact of Send Ghana's activities was realized in several districts across the country. The project also focused on advocacy and sensitization within the districts with regards to vaccine acceptance and hesitancy. On a number of occasions, I've been with uh, the district coordinator, Mr. Nana. We have been to radio stations several times to do a uh, sensitization on the COVID as well as the vaccination. In some areas, we do house to house. So people start to understand why they should even take the vaccine. Sen believes that the efforts of the project have influenced EPR decisions in the district's mainstream activities. Sen has trained us on how to engage duty bearers and government in particular to set aside funds for epidemic preparedness. I think a number of uh, things have been done, including uh, mainstreaming issues of epidemic into the, the assembly's action plans, into uh, the medium term plans for the next four years. Because we have gained knowledge on the epidemic preparedness through the support of uh, Sen Ghana. We did a presentation on that to the uh, development subcommittee members and they proposed to the executive uh, committee that they want the assembly to set up. The COVID-19 pandemic has taught Ghana great lessons of the importance of early and continuous preparation for unforeseen health threats and the need for a dedicated response by government to mitigate the effects of epidemics. We don't have a defined fund that is dedicated for epidemics. And so I will want to ad advocate that there must be. If you look at the digital summer common fund, you just agree with me that it's no more common. So in case there is an epidemic, that's where the challenge might be. So Ghana government should put in money so that we will have adequate human resources, strong health systems, so that when these things happen, we'll be able to respond adequately. The opportunity Ghana has now is the establishment of the COVID-19 fund. And we believe it will be useful for government to begin considering how we can tap into that fund for public health emergency response in general. We need to continue to advocate so that the, the commitment that government has made can be translated each year. Even when this project is over, we would be using our advocacy to keep reminding our government that every year there should be a budget allocation for epidemic preparedness.